Hello, Jeff. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Milo, and you're watching Trading Cards. This is Card Talk, where we talk about the cards. I'm joined, as always, with Bo Bichette, Rock E Horror, and Pete Alonzo. We're going to be opening up this pack right here of You Slay Me. We're going to look at some Com C, and we got some TTM autograph returns. Let's start this off with some of the autograph returns. We got this one. As you can see, it wasn't signed. It was a return to sender, Cameron Diaz. Uh, to be honest, I don't, I don't think she was going to sign these anyway. And then maybe my funniest return so far, uh, Honky Tonk Man. I did send him three cards to sign. Uh, two of him and one of Dinosaur's Attacks. Uh, and I sent him uh, $20. And he said... LOL, I do not take Canada money. <laughs> Honky Tonk Man, you sucker. The truth is, I like this more than your autograph. <laughs> and he sent me my 20 bucks back. <laughs> so Catherine just, Catherine, my partner, just told me a story. She said that uh, Cameron Diaz does not sign autographs at TIFF, the Toronto International Film Festival, and they were waiting in line for autographs, and she said, sorry, I don't sign autographs. So I guess Cameron Demise and Mary Moose will forever be uninked. Let's take a look at some calm seas. We got Squirrel Girl. I don't know what this is. Flarium. Marvel Flarium. Uh, artwork by Peach Momoko. Another couple characters I liked a lot. I like this movie Thor Love and Thunder quite a bit. And these two noisy goats that don't shut up. I like them a lot. I hope they're in many more Marvel movies. We got some Marvel Unbound. So this is what the Rhino one looks like. If you don't know the story about Marvel Unbound, it is a one card per pack online upper deck e-pack set. Uh, every week they release one character and you can open a pack and either get a regular one, which this is, and even the regular ones are numbered 450 out of 999. Uh, you can get a foil, you can get a canvas, you can get a sketch, you can get a plate, you can get a signed one by the artist, Fred Ian. Uh, we got a cloak and dagger. Some of these are from series one and some of these are from series two. I just picked the characters that I liked if they were priced, you know. And a reasonable price. We got Bullseye. Hercules. I like the artwork on this one. A lot. Don't really like the character, but it's pretty pretty solid art for Hercules. Alex Wilder. I thought this one was hilarious because who is Alex Wilder in? Like he's just some guy, right? Just some guy. He got his own Marvel card. Some dude. And then Fing Fang Foom! This is probably the silliest looking face I've seen on Fing Fang Foom. He just looks kind of like some some tired old man. Like, eh, eh, another day, another dollar. Eh. And then we got a foiled one of Quicksilver. The rainbow foil really pops on this. It's a very nice foiling. We also got a couple strong guys from Fleer Ultra. So this is the one I saw first. Strong guy on a on a water ski. You know, just having a good time. And then I saw this one. I was like, whoa! Hello. So, you know, I had this one already and then I, I got this one after. But yeah. We got a couple wrestling cards, some Andre the Giant ones. I just thought this was a really cool image. It's a 1985 card of Jimmy Snuka jumping off Andre's shoulders as they are, you know much higher than the top turnbuckle uh, and then we got the mega bucks this is just a heritage card it's a newer card but uh, i think i uh, hopefully uh ted dibiase takes canada money <laughs> for an autograph we also got this uh dung hyung kim uh, from the ufc numbered to 88 82 of 88 he is on a lot of uh korean variety shows now he's very funny uh, he's quite the character. We like him, so grab that. And then this one is something very strange I found on Com C. All-star drug detecting dogs. 
So this dog's name is Humphrey. This is a set from the Treasury of US Customs Services. And on the back you get Humphrey's stats. His ID tag, breed, golden retriever, age 9, weight 70 pounds. And then look at this. Total seizure value to date, $36 million. He's from Boston, Massachusetts. Most notable, notable achievement, Humphrey detected 72,000 pounds of marijuana buried beneath hundreds of tons of gravel on board a cargo ship. They did all of that work to hide it. And Humphrey comes along, sniffs them out. Milkbone dog brand. Dogs know. I bet Humphrey earned themselves a, a milk bone. Who else we got here? Silka. Oh, come on, Silka. Silka, what'd you do? Breed Labrador Retriever Ridgeback Mix. Age 6. Total seizure value to date, $26,150,000 from Nogales, Arizona. Most notable achievement in five years, Silk has piled up the seizures, which included 10 pounds of heroin woven into carpets, 300 pounds of cocaine, 700 pounds of marijuana, and 5 million in drug money. And then we're gonna end off here. You know, comedy always comes in threes. We got Rufus. Rufus looks like he's been dipping into it a little bit. Huh, Rufus? Rufus from New York, New York, Serpico. We got breed Springer Spaniel, age 10 and a half, weight 55 pounds. Total seizure value to date, $81 million. Most notable achievement, while searching the refrigerator box of a large over the road cargo truck, Rufus detected 900 pounds of cocaine. The cocaine was wrapped in plastic and hidden within boxes of apples located in the front of the vehicle. So Rufus smelt the apples. Mm -mm -mm -mm, I want the apples. Went for the apples and they're like, what's all this cocaine? Rufus just wanted apples. Narcs. All three of them narcs. And next up, I think we'll do the, the trade. So I traded a bunch of cards to a friend of the channel, Mook. Uh, Mook has a great podcast that he does with another friend, uh, and they they review uh, they review spooky, scary movies. These guys love horror. Oh boy, it's called Split Up. <laughs> a little baggy, Rufus. It's not what you think. So the main part of the trade was for four packs of the X Files. So, X-Files, this isn't the, the game. This ain't the game. These are the real cards. The real stuff. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, we got a Sean Springs. That's my second Sean Springs. Now I can send to him to get an autograph. Thank you very much. And we got a Calvin Biggio rookie and a Bo Bichette rookie. I didn't have this one. This is his rookie debut card. Uh, Bo Bichette's rookie debut was July 29th, 2019. Good to know. Great condition cards, too. Thank you very much, Mook. So, before we get to the last TTM returns, I think we'll do this pack. You slay me. You slay me. Have you ever said that earnestly to somebody? What's taking this train so long? You slay me. Which actor did not portray Dr. Jekyll, Spencer Tracy, John Barrymore, Jack Palant Palance, and uh, Claude Rains? I don't know. Uh, I can see the answer already. It's Claude Rains. They expect us to believe this stuff? This old man's laughing at the National Enquirer when the alien's right behind him. Christopher Reeve's successful time travel attempt back to 1912 in Somewhere in Time is horribly cut short by what item mistakenly left in his vest pocket? A present day penny. Mm, blood bank. Small, unmarked vials always robbing the blood bank. Since uh, small and marked bills want small and marked vials. Who directed Star Trek The Motion Picture? Dave. Robert Wise. Close. Close. 
That's the last time I use those generic chemicals. You know what? The generic ones are just as good as the brand. In Japan, he's known as Gojira. In America, he's known as Godzilla. One last card. Still think time travel is poppycock? Yep. This, uh, the 1933 version of The Invisible Man starred Claude Rains in the title role. And how many scenes did we actually see his face? None. Only one. That was my second guess. You know what? None of those slayed me. I gotta be, gotta be real here. None of those, none of those slayed me. Not a single one. All right, we got some returns. First of which is somebody I know from a ride in at Canada's Wonderland called Days of Thunder, and that is Kyle Petty. Kyle Petty, Richard, Richard Petty's son. But, uh, in the in the ride on Canada's Wonderland, you know, he, 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 I mean, he was the mellow yellow guy, right? In the ride at Canada's Wonderland, he would be like, it would be like a 4D ride, you know, where your chair moves and everything. And he'd be like, you gotta do it. He'd be, he was your pit captain, your, your pit crew guy. And you were Tom Cruise, obviously. Uh, in your in your car anyway there you go next up, <laughs> next up we got a hockey player hockey guy uh, mr brian scrudlin who played with the florida panthers it's a stadium club one this was the reason i got the i love this picture of him huh eh? played with the canadians and he was the assistant captain Canadians. That's his pro set. So I actually ask a lot of these people questions uh, when I send them <laughs> the cards to sign, and most of the time nobody responds, but Brian Scrudlin definitely did. And I asked him, uh, I wrote, I was wondering if you collected cards when you were a kid or even now. As a player depicted on trading cards, has your perspective on cards changed? And uh, he wrote, yeah, I collected cards both then and now. And he, he wrote, the industry seems a bit oversaturated. Too many of the same cards. Be safe and play hard. Brian Scrudlin. So that was really nice of him to write all that. Um, I might just uh, write him another letter and ask him some questions. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And then this is one of the founders of Industrial Light and Magic, Richard Edlund, uh, who did the special effects on Star Wars. Yep, the original Star Wars. Richard Edlund was in charge of the miniatures, including inventing some new things never seen before just for this movie, this, the, this trilogy. And he actually signed four different cards for me Three different colors used, including this one, which I think looks the best, and it's on the uh, 1977 Star Star Wars card. Card number 69. This is actually one of the earliest trades I made on the channel. I made a trade with uh, a friend, Chris, at a, at, a, at a bar in Toronto. We met up for a, a trade. If you want to check out that video, uh, you could do some research on my channel and find it yourself okay i think that's it i think we covered everything today if you feel as though we didn't cover everything leave a comment down below and let me know what you wanted to what you want to know what you want me to cover next time i guess might not do it though all right take care everybody see you later